Well, it's good to get back on schedule. Uh, before I begin, we actually have someone else that's going to be speaking a little bit first this morning. Uh, as most of you have noticed, we have some familiar faces sitting where they used to usually sit. Right here, uh, DJ, Noah, and Eli, and Jessica, and Josiah, who I am not allowed to look at. Otherwise, he starts crying. So I can't look at <laughs> <laughs> but you know they've been here for they uh, been uh, regular attenders for a long time, but uh, they have to come across a couple of counties to get here, and they've been uh, going to some other places and things like that. But DJ, uh, I email him quite a bit, and he said uh, next time he comes, he'd like to give his testimony, and I said we're going to hold you to that. So uh, with, with nothing further, uh, we're going to have DJ come up, and he's going to speak to us just a little bit. I always like to hear what God has done for so, for many of our members. So, Brother DJ. Thank you, Jason. First off, I'm not a professional speaker. Okay. I don't envy Jason standing behind here. And I don't think anybody else probably would. But, uh, you know, I don't, uh, you know, I, I, this is going to be like my first formal testimony in front of people. Uh, so formal that it's informal. Because all I have, essentially, is a couple of bullet points. I haven't written anything down. But there are, like, specific things that I want to touch on. Um, first off, just like Jason said, you know, we have been coming here, I believe, for two years now. With the exception of the last three months, I believe. Uh, we really love this church. Uh, and we really thank everybody for their uh, support and prayers. Uh, Jason's been telling me that several people have asked about us, you know, and that uh, everybody's been praying for us. And we really appreciate that from the bottom of our, of our hearts. Uh, second, um, you know, I, I have felt the need to share my story ever since becoming, uh, you know, saved. Ever, ever since I've, I've started believing on Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I've really felt the need to tell people, and, and I hope this is the start of me telling a lot more people. Um, so with that said, you know, again, I'm going to be a little nervous. Forgive me for that. You know, I'm, I'm not perfect. So with that said, I just want to say a quick prayer, and then I'll get into my, my testimony, okay? All right. Lord, we're just, uh, we're just so thankful that uh, you placed me here today, Lord, uh, that you brought me back to uh, a very, very loving uh, church, Lord. Uh, I just ask that you just be with me, that these uh, words uh, be from you, Lord, and not from me. And I'm just so thankful that I get to stand here today and uh, testify of you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. All right, so, uh, you know, I got three three bullet points that I want to speak on uh, with my testimony. Before I believed, how I believed, and then the great things that Jesus has done for me in my life. And with that, I'm going to start with one scripture. I only have two in mind. Uh, th this is the first one. I'm not going to explain the um, before and after, but I think y'all will get the point just from the scripture. And that's Luke 8... 39, it reads, return, in, return into thine house and show how great things God hath done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus has done unto him. So with that, let me just give you a brief understanding of DJ Largen. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I, I did grow up mostly in Virginia. Uh, I have two sisters, a mom and a dad. My dad served 20 years in the military. And currently, I have a pretty big family started. I have uh, my wife, Jessica, and my three boys, Noah, Eli, and uh, Josiah. So there's just a brief, you know, understanding of my, my life or, or, or my family. As, as a kid, um, I, I never went to church. As a matter of fact, I don't think I stepped foot into a church until I was about 20, either 25 or 26. Um, my mom and dad, obviously, didn't go to church. 
don't believe in God to my knowledge. Uh, I'm working on that, <laughs> at least seeing if, 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 uh, if they do or don't. Um, as a kid, uh, I was able to do things at a young age that kids should not be able to do. Drink. <laughs> I've, I've, I've drank a lot in my life. Um, girlfriends, ma many girlfriends, uh, uh, cuss, uh, hang out with bad people. But it wasn't until uh, my first wife, I, I am divorced, I should have clarified that as well, Jessica's my second wife. My first wife actually introduced me to church and to God. Um, the, the, the first church that I went to was a holiness church. And the way that they believe is uh, Acts 2.38, if anybody's familiar with Acts 2.38, but they, they add a little bit more onto salvation than what, uh, what's really in this book. Salvation is nothing more than believing on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You don't need to be baptized to be saved, as Jason has preached over and over and over and over again. No work can get you into heaven or, 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 or get you into hell, essentially. Right? It's only by the belief of Lord Jesus Christ that you are saved. So with that said, how I, how I you know, accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior... Like I said, I went to a church who believed uh, that, you know, you had to add works into your salvation. And there was this guy that I worked with. He might be in, in here today listening to us. But there's a guy that I worked with that we would argue Acts 2.38 day in, day out at work. And I'd be like, no, you have to, you, have to uh, you know, be baptized to be saved. And he's like, no, all you have to do is believe. So... We we would argue pretty good amount, we would. and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, some people some people can say, okay, that's the minute that I believed, or that's the minute that, or, or this is what happened, and it, and I, I think a lot of factors factored into you know me uh, accepting Jesus truly with, by what this Bible says, and and one of them was you know Jason Bennett. It, it wasn't until I read this Bible, you know, and didn't take someone else's word for it, i.e. I. the other church I went to, because, you know, you read it for yourself, and then you start to understand the whole Bible clearly from, from beginning to end. And it's as clear as day that believing on the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way, right? So... So I'm, I'm thankful for, for Jason. You know, you have to have ears. You have to be willing to hear. You can't be stubborn. I was very stubborn because why? I, I want to win. I want to beat Jason Bennett at, at an argument, you know. But at the end of the day, that's not how we win, right? We win by opening up, listening, understanding, and then read it yourself. Don't take someone else's word for it, right? I, I still didn't take his word for it. That's why I read it, yeah. right? Yeah. So that, that, that's essentially how I feel like I've become to accept Jesus Christ, is by reading the Bible and by hearing, you know, what, what others had, had to say about the Bible. With that said, Romans 10. This is the second scripture that, I, that I'd like to read. Romans 10. I'm, I'm pretty sure that everybody here has had a healthy diet of Romans 10. Romans 10, 9. If anybody in here, you know, if, if anybody in here, I can, uh, you know, that, that doesn't believe on Jesus Christ, that I hope that I can affect today, here, here it is right here, plain and simple. Romans 10, 9. I'm going to make sure I got the right one. Yep. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Lord Jesus, that, that the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with thy heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's as simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, now I want to talk about, you know, a few things that Jesus has personally done for me. And I just want you to know that uh, I'm, not, I'm not an emotional guy. Okay? 
quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. However, if there's one thing that gets me emotional these days, it's how good God has been to me. Truly. I mean, a, a blessing. This morning, one of my favorite songs is The Family of God. This morning, I was like, how cool would it be if we sung Family of God? It's like, how cool? I, I, swear, I swear to God right now, I thought, and, and it, it just validates this testimony, I believe. From rags unto riches, from the weak to the strong. I was weak. I, I, I feel very strong today. I'm not worthy to be here, but praise God, I belong. How, how great is that? How, how great is that? Better yet, how great is our God to know, you know? That nothing happens by coincidence. It's, it's all for a reason. Um, you know, Pete, you know, b before, you know, when I was, uh, I, let's just call it bad, into, into drugs, into drinking, you know, I didn't have peace, right? You would, you would wake up and not feel fulfilled, or, or you would be, you know, you almost slip into some type of depression because something is missing or you're trying to overcompensate for something. You know, when, when, when I gave up drinking, it was probably, you know, become, you know being a drunk, it was probably the best decision I've, I've ever made, not only for my family, but for me personally, you know? Uh, actually, it was a sermon that Jason uh, preached, uh, I want to say a, a, year and a, a year and a half ago, may, maybe a little bit longer, that made me go home and pour out all my alcohol. And, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, so, so just the peace of mind that Jesus you know, that, that my Savior has given me is unexplainable. You know, I can, I can wake up tomorrow and, f and because I have Jesus, fear nothing. Fear, no, fear, fear nothing that a man can do to me, right? And, and people at my work notice how happy I am. And they're like, what? it's a Monday, you're at work, why are you happy? Why not? <laughs> I get to come to work. I get to, uh, you know, uh, support my family. Why not be happy, you know? Um, uh, the last couple of things is, you know, I feel like with Jesus I can overcome anything. Um, I, I have, I currently have a, a few bad habits that I'm trying to, to get rid of. Uh, actually, just as far as this past weekend, I was like, okay. I'm done with this. It's been tough. However, with Jesus, I can overcome anything. And, I, and, and I'm praying that he gives me the strength to, to do so. One other uh, great event that happened in my life that I think I touched on once before, but uh, not to this depth, and that is Josiah, my uh, third son. Uh, Doctors said that, long story short, doctor says that, that J Jessica would never be able to have kids. A couple of conditions that she has. I don't know what they are. They're so long. And <laughs> Anyway, anyway, they told her it would be very difficult to have a kid, right? Um, one day at work, I still had the emails. I, I was thinking about bringing them and sharing them with you, but... They're kind of in-depth and, and kind of personal. One day at work, we used to work together, her and I. Thankfully, she's a stay-at-home mom now for, what, a, almost a year? Almost a year. But anyway, we worked together. She sent me an email one day. She said, you know what? I could tell she was bummed out. She's like, you know what? I want to just quit trying to have a kid. I know it's not going to happen. Um, blah, 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 blah. So what do I do? My... And, and excuse me for being graphic. I'm not trying to be graphic. But my logical mind, okay, what do you want, want to do? Never be intimate again? I mean, it's not like, you know, we're not, it's not like that's going to stop. <laughs> so 
So that was my first line of course. My second line of course was, you know, take her back to scripture. My third line of course is always Jason Bennett. Hey, Jason, <laughs> you got any words of wisdom that I can, you know, beside on her? But anyway, the, the emails ended with me and Jason going back and forth, both believing that she would get pregnant, you know. He said he would be in prayer. I, you know, of course, we were in prayer. Two weeks later, two weeks later from that email, she was pregnant. And there he is right there. What, what more glory can we give to, to Jesus Christ but then Josiah right there, you know? Let's not forget my other two blessings, Noah and Eli, right? <laughs> they are blessings in, in themselves. <laughs> but I don't know about y'all, um, but I've had a lot of my prayers answered, and I'm very thankful for that. And that just validates, you know, the God that I believe in, Jesus Christ, right? That's all I have. You know, I didn't want to spend too much time. I, I really appreciate everybody, and I, and I thank y'all.